Lifestyle medicine is the use of lifestyle interventions directed at the treatment, management, and prevention of disease. Hey folks, Dr. Keel here, and I want to take a minute to talk about lipoproteins, LDL and HDL, cholesterol, and triglycerides. This video is designed to simplify some relatively complicated subject matter for folks without a major scientific background who want a little bit better understanding. So first, what are lipoproteins? The way that your body stores fat is very different from the way that you ingest dietary fat. If you haven't listened to my video about dietary fat, I suggest you check that out. One of the ways that your body manages fat is by storing them in molecules collectively referred to as lipoproteins. As the name suggests, they contain both lipids, which are better known as fat, and protein. This gives them both structure and function. Typically, lipids do not like water, that is to say that they are hydrophobic, but attaching them to proteins makes them less so. This allows us to move them around our body more effectively for various purposes. We are, after all, made up of 60% water. So the purpose of lipoproteins is transportation of the things they contain. There are two different general clusters of lipoproteins, high-density lipoprotein, or HDL, and low-density lipoprotein, or LDL. HDL is what doctors and dietitians usually refer to as the good cholesterol, and the way that I tell patients to remember that is that H in HDL stands for healthy. LDL is the so-called bad lipid and is actually the poster child for a spectrum of different lipoproteins with very similar functions, including intermediate lipoprotein, very low density lipoprotein, and chylomicrons. You won't often hear people discussing anything besides HDL and LDL, and so that's what I will focus on in this lecture, but I did think it was worth mentioning the others at least once. So the purpose of these lipoproteins is to help deliver their contents to body tissues. Think of the liver as the home base for this. LDL and its cousins transport their contents away from the liver to various tissues. And HDL is for reverse transport. It brings things back to the liver for consumption and metabolism. And so what do HDL and LDL contain? These lipoproteins contain four different molecular classes. The first two I'll mention briefly because they aren't big players, uh, at least in this lecture. One that I've already alluded to is, to is protein, and that basically serves as part of the structure of the molecules, as well as acts as a receptor, allowing these lipoproteins to talk to other cells. The second are the phospholipids, and these are lipids that serve as a major component of the cellular membrane. I'll also mention that of all the lipoproteins, HDL contains more protein and phospholipids than LDL. The third component is cholesterol. Cholesterol has a very complex molecular structure. and is very similar to the steroids that your body uses. It's actually used as a precursor to many of them, as well as to things like vitamin D and bile. Its concentration is higher in LDL than HDL. The fourth thing contained in these lipoproteins is triglycerides, or TAG. The tri aspect signifies the three fatty acid chains attached to the glyceride backbone. Triglycerides are the major way that your body stores dietary fat, such as saturated and unsaturated fats, as well as any other fats that your body may produce. They can also be broken back down for energy when your blood glucose levels get low. And so how do these lipoproteins affect your health? The major concern with dyslipidemia, which is abnormal blood lipids, or hyperlipidemia, which is too high of lipid levels, is atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is the process by which artery walls thicken from lipid plaque formation. These plaques can subsequently rupture, traveling through your arteries until they get stuck and stop blood flow, causing heart attacks and strokes. Higher blood levels of LDL correlate directly with increased risk of atherosclerosis and subsequent coronary heart disease. Low levels of HDL correlate with an increased risk of atherosclerosis. In other words, normal and high HDL values are cardioprotective, reducing risk. Remember that HDL is the healthy lipoprotein. Increased cholesterol is associated with increased risk of atherosclerosis and cardiovascular events. You may see it presented as cholesterol to HDL ratio, but the relative interpretation is the same. And increased triglycerides are an independent risk factor for coronary heart disease. So then how can you improve your lipid profile? So standard lipid profile from your doctor's office will measure LDL, HDL, cholesterol, and triglycerides, and often include a ratio of some of these different variables. Diet, exercise, weight loss, smoking cessation have all been proven to improve parts or all of your lipid profile. And this should be the standard recommendation from any medical provider. Supplementing your diet with niacin, fish oil, and red yeast rice can help. The Mediterranean and DASH diet have been shown to improve the lipid panel as well. Non-pharmacologic therapy can be inadequate to keep your levels in the appropriate range, so please consult with your primary care doctor if you have a history of abnormal lipid levels or a strong family history of the same. 
The United States Preventative Services Task Force recommends screening of all men over 35 and all women over 45 for dyslipidemia. If you have a personal or family history that suggests other risk factors, you should consult your doctor and may need to be screened earlier. Target blood levels vary depending on other risk factors and comorbid diseases, but as a general rule, the following target levels are recommended. Total cholesterol should be under 200. LDL cholesterol should be under 100. HDL cholesterol should be greater than 60, and triglycerides should be less than 150. And so in summary, lipoproteins are a generic molecule describing the way that your body transports fat. As the name suggests, they are composed of both lipids and proteins. HDL is one of the lipoproteins. It's the healthy one, and the higher the better. The other is LDL, which is the unhealthy one, and the lower the better. Cholesterol and triglycerides are stored in both HDL and LDL. Diet, exercise, and weight loss are the best ways to lower high lipid values. And talk to your physician about screening for dyslipidemia.